This video is gonna be me applying makeup that I need to throw out. Most of it is just because it's too old. This isn't like a shade video or anything. I already have a video where I like trash makeup products. And um, this is actually the finished look minus the lipstick because I just couldn't take myself serious with that. I definitely recommend that you try out your makeup products just like before throwing them out just to see are they horrible or like even if they're past their expiration date can you still use them without giving yourself like an eye infection or anything. But yeah, let's get into the actual video. So I'm just gonna put the intro in here now. I didn't know we were in the information society. First thing I'm gonna use is primer and this is the NYX Porefiller primer. It's not a bad primer, it's just it's too old and um, it's gone really dry. And also I purchased this when I had like really oily skin and now my skin is super dry so I'm not gonna repurchase it either. We're just gonna apply it to the center. Then we're gonna move on to foundation and I'm gonna use the Rimmel Stay Matte Foundation. Honestly I used to love this but I can't even remember when I bought it and it's definitely too old now so I don't think it's good for my face. But let's just use it for the sake of this video. It's also very runny. Like, but that. Oh, and yeah, it's too dark for me right now. I'm gonna throw this sponge away as well because it doesn't really do its job that well anymore. Yeah, this just makes it very patchy. So we're gonna move on to concealer. These I used to love and um, then they discontinued them and I kept them for way too long. So these are also way too old. It's called the Rimmel London Hide the Blemish Concealer. And for my under eyes I'm gonna use the lighter one. If I can get any out. This is the shade 021 Ivory. The sponge is from e.l.f. and I quite like them when they are like not this ruined, so yeah. This is the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. Now I do really like this, but I remember that I let someone borrow this when I was out clubbing and um, there's not too much in it anyway, so I think I'm just gonna throw it out because I have like three others. <laughs> so since someone else's like face bacteria is in here, I'm just gonna use the sponge that I'm gonna throw out anyway. Oh, the sponge is so old that it like crumbles almost. It's not ideal. Now that the base is down, so beautiful, I'm gonna move on to eyebrows. Yes, these two are the same as the NYX Microbrow Pencil. And then I have this small... It's a Rimmel product I can see, but yeah, it's so small I can barely read it. There's just like makeup sponge all over my face now. And you know what? This part is so boring to watch, so I'm just gonna skip through it. So the brows are on. But I'm not quite done with the brows yet. I have these NYX Control Freak eyebrow gel. I just like smelled them before and I'm. <laughs> It almost smells like hand sanitizer, which cannot be good. Not only are they old, but I um, also wish I could find one that didn't move like the eyebrow pencil around so much. So let's move on to the eyes. I have two palettes for this and um, this is one of them. It's not bad at all and it was kind of expensive as well, but first of all, this is a Danish brand, so I can't really use it for my YouTube channel. And second of all, I have had this for at least three years, I'm sure. And um, the expiration date is when it's been open for 12 months. So the other palette I have is this. It's like a weird brand called Mills. And it smells really funky and that's not because it's old, it's just because that's the scent it had when it came and it's like one of those you get for free when you like buy something at a store so obviously it's not very good the fallout of this is insane first i'm gonna use this eyeshadow as a transition shade it's a little bit dark but 
I used to use it as a transition shade all the time, so... Yeah, it's way too dark as a transition shade, but something had to go wrong in this video, right? Maybe it's just this eye that's terrible. I don't know. Maybe I picked up way too much product. Just gonna try to blend that out. I might as well bring it down to the under eye right away, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pick up this more bronzy shade on my finger. And Oh, it's really dry. I'm just gonna apply this to my outer corners. It's still really pigmented, so that's always a plus. Yeah, I lied. I'm just gonna apply it to my whole lid. Um, just to add a little bit more dimension, I'm gonna pick up this more dark color and um, apply it to the outer corners. And to the inner corners, I'm gonna apply this. It's actually supposed to be shimmery, but it's like it's lost all of its shimmer. Yeah, that's definitely mad. Oh dear. I'm gonna... Oh. To change that, I'm gonna pick up some of these really shimmery, glittery shades. The white one in the middle will probably do. Yeah, that didn't really help anything. But just for fun, I'm gonna pick up some of this gold shade down here. I'm gonna apply it to the very center of my lid. So I had planned on applying an eyeliner, this one. But it's all white and I'm not sure if that's mold, so... I'm not gonna put this around my eyes or like near them at all, so... But I am, however, gonna apply some mascara. And this is the Maybelline, the Colossal Volume Express Mascara. I love this, no doubt, but it's really dry and um, it's way past its expiration date. <sighs> yeah, that's like no payoff. Like none. What the hell? So my camera cut me off, but basically, Please throw out your mascaras when they are expired. I don't think it's good for your lashes either, so... I have dressed this before in the video, so I'm not gonna do that again. Basically, they're just really cakey. I'm just gonna pick this up and um, tap it in. First you think like, oh, that's a nice bronzer. I like that. But then when it's been sitting on your face for like maybe half an hour, it starts to look really cakey, so I'm not a fan of that. And like, as soon as I get another bronzer, I'm gonna throw this away because it's not, it's not worth it, you know? The blush is even more terrible when it comes to being cakey, so... Love that. Also, the blushes are really shimmery. The whole palette is actually supposed to be like a blush palette, which I don't get. And for highlighter, I'm just gonna pick some of these up, um, because somehow they look cakey too. I usually apply them with a brush, but I um, forgot to bring it. And honestly, I don't really think it makes a big difference with these highlighters. It's really pigmented though, but um, as I said, it looks cakey after such a short amount of time, so I don't think it's worth it. The last step is gonna be lipstick. This is gonna be it. It's a L'Oreal lipstick. It's called Color Rich... <laughs> it's called Color Rich 303 Rose Tender. And this is just to baby pink for me. Uh, and then it's like super shimmery. Which I just don't want... Ew. It's embarrassing there. Sorry about that. And like the coverage is so sheer. I just feel like this color like belongs in the 2000s. Okay, the pigment is actually okay. I take that back, it's not super sheer, but this color just doesn't suit me at all. Yeah, this is what I ended up with. I mean, I don't think it's that bad considering most of these products are so far away from their expiration date that it's actually just disgusting, kind of. <laughs> I just guess the moral of this video is please throw away your makeup when it's really expired. I mean, I get it if you like keep it 
some time past the expiration date, but don't keep it years after because I don't think that's healthy. But yeah, thank you for watching this and um, I hope to see you in my next video. So I still don't have an outro, so yeah, let's just end it right here. That's a difficult question because I didn't know we were in the information society.